Rivers, and I'm so happy to be one of the members of our Amesbury High School community to be talking to you about the positive, important impact of mentors violence prevention in our school culture and the effect that it's had on that school culture. MVP training has given voice to what has long been considered taboo conversations within the high school setting, despite the fact that students are often faced with issues of dating violence, hyper and toxic masculinity, as well as language based uh, gender biases. These are not openly discussed topics in American homes or in American classrooms. However, more of our students and staff members feel more comfortable having these hard conversations and thus dispelling some of that discomfort in an increase, since an increasing number of our students are now MVP trained each year. Perhaps the most important part of this culture shift um, is that it helps kids, it helps kids, excuse me, help each other when help is needed the most. MVP members are trained to notice specific behaviors in their classmates and friends, as well as to how to initiate, ask questions or alerts staff to a situation that could be potentially dangerous to a classmate or friends. Last year, one of our now senior MVP members, Rebecca Alexander, was able to help a close friend who was in a toxic relationship. Becca reached out to Liz Roccoforte, Gregory Brown, and myself for help, but she was able to use her own MVP training to talk with this young woman in the kind, non-judgmental, and secure manner that many individuals, while dealing with this, with such an emotionally draining and scary situation, absolutely need. These past six years have been incredibly rewarding as an advisor to MVP, but this in this situation, I was reminded just how impactful, important, and life-changing our work truly is. So thank you for having me here, albeit virtually. Enjoy the rest of the breakfasts, and I hope to see you all soon, in a and I hope that you're all happy, healthy, in this new and changing environment that we are in. Bye. Hi, my name is Greg Brown. I'm a teacher at Ainsbury High School. Uh, I've been involved with the MVP program for about eight years. My initial involvement came back in 2012 when then principal Roy Hammond came to me. He pulled me aside and said, hey, Greg, you got a minute? So I don't know about you, but usually when a boss or an administrator says, do you have a minute, you think, oh, either I did something wrong or they're going to ask me to do something I don't want to do. However, Roy was a pretty straight shooter, so I said, sure, Roy. So he proceeded to tell me about um, the MVP program and that the, the district had received some money to uh, start a teen dating violence awareness program, uh, working in conjunction with Northeastern University's Center for Sports and Society. And would I like to be an advisor? Well, since pretty much all I heard was that my principal called me an MVP and I had no idea what I was getting myself into, I said, sure, I'll give it a shot. So what I came to find out was that MVP stands for Mentors in Violence Prevention. And it's a program where they have uh, instructors come into schools and they conduct workshops working with students, uh, ex exploring issues of um, gender-based violence, um, you know, society's roles, um, gender roles, and they have some pretty thought-provoking discussions uh, about, you know, some of the root causes of violence, some of the warning signs of violence, and it, it's a very worthwhile program. Uh, we, we have had some incidents at, at Ainsbury High School where students who have either uh, taken the program or have been friends of students who have taken the program have been able to identify some situations where had they not had this valuable education, they may not have been aware of some of the warning signs or you know, the, the problems with uh, teen dating violence. So it's been a very worthwhile program and uh, we've worked very closely with the Jeannie Geiger Crisis Center, and we hope to continue to do this valuable work in the future. Thanks. Hi, my name is Rebecca Alexander. I'm a senior at Amesbury High School and a rising freshman at the University of South Florida. I started participating in my high school's Mentors and Violence Prevention Program, MVP, when I was only 15, unaware of what a profound impact the program would have on me and my peers. Through the training, I learned about the warning signs of a toxic relationship the societal factors that lead to these physically and mentally damaging relationships, and really got a perspective of how each gender sees toxic relationships, harassment, and abuse play out in everyday life. 
Prior to gaining this knowledge, I witnessed these actions being carried out, but failed to recognize them as anything other than normal. About a year ago, this knowledge became extremely important to me. One of my friends was in a relationship with a boy who was older than 18, so from the beginning, I recognized the questionable legality of the situation. My friend fell fast and fell hard for this older boy, but the relation as the relationship intensified, so did his actions. Simply checking in on her quickly turned into stalking and jealous rages if she was with anyone else but him. He began to push her away from her friends, attempting to isolate her for his own personal gain. He frequently lashed out on her, leaving her stranded places or saying unspeakable things and shortly after, quote, making up for it. My friend didn't understand at the time what she was telling me. And when I tried to explain it, denial kept her from understanding what I had to tell her, and I became the bad guy. At this point, I'd essentially lost a friendship, but I would rather face that reality than one where I really lose my friend. I went to my MVP advisors and explained the whole situation. We had a presentation on toxic relationships coming up, however, it was only allowed to be seen by the seniors, and at this point we were juniors. My advisors made it possible for my friend and some others to be able to sit in on the presentation as well. It worked and it broke through to her. By the end of the day, she was one of my best friends again, realizing what I had done was to help her and not to hurt her. Hearing another person's survival story helped her to realize that there was a way out and that the good parts of her relationship didn't excuse all of the bad things that she's now able to label as abuse. MVP opened up my eyes saved my friend, and has a rippling effect on society that will continue to create awareness and save lives. Thank you to the Jeannie Geiger Crisis Center, Liz, and my MVP advisors for changing my life.